Hello, Crappy Crafters. Welcome to my channel, Crappy Crafting with Daniel. I'm Daniel, and I am a crappy crafter. <laughs> so, catch-up time. Um, this is maybe a long video, and it's going to be a hodgepodge of a bunch of different stuff. But we're here at the studio, the Tacky Studio, and we're going to work on some things. I'm going to show you some things I've been working on. But first of all, let's insert a clip of how my pride um, wreath turned out. We'll do that right now. Okay, so we're back at this side of the camera. So um, I'm going to show you some things that I got. Hopefully, I know one thing I didn't show you. Hopefully the other thing I haven't. But some stuff for junk journaling. I got these fun little, um, I don't know what they were from. But they're just these little plaques that have all these words on them. And you can make sentences with them and stuff. But I thought these would be cute to stick in um, a pocket, or you could glue it, glue it on a page. They're a little thick, and they are on both sides, so I thought that would be cute to put in a, some junk journal somewhere someday. And then I got um, a Joanne. They have their fabric that's on sale, um, so I got just a little bit, like a quarter of a yard. I got this because I want to cut out those. Aren't those flowers beautiful? So I can use those on a page or use it to embellish a, a cover. So there's that one and then this one here. Sparkle. Isn't that pretty? So I got both of those. So. There is, look at my new stuff. So let me get this moved around because I want to show you something. We all know that I am a very messy, messy. So we're on the tripod. I'm not going to take you off. I'm just going to kind of move this. So we've got this mess going on here. And then even on the other side, We've got more messes. And today, amongst my mess, I don't know if I tried to organize or try to put it somewhere where I would find it, but I haven't found it, is my little stencil that we had. Sorry, I gotta move my camera. This is not... <laughs> Welcome to crappy camera work, too. Okay. Okay, so, um, my stencil has disappeared. I don't know if it's buried under all this stuff, and we might find it. I was going to use that today in one of the projects we're doing. But let me show you. Remember, I said I was going to do uh, a journal with the um, packing paper. So I started on it. Here's what I've come up with. And if you want to see me actually make one, we could do that. This is just a prototype. So here's what I did. I glued three of the these, three of those together. I mod podged them together to make a cover. And then I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So what I did was I just took a napkin and just crumpled it up on front. Now this is not done decorated. I just wanted to cover it. So I just kind of haphazardly put it on there because I was going to cut all these off. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. So I was going to cut all this off. So this is actually a straight edge. But I'm like, you know what? This is really a crappy journal. This is actually one that is just going to be for me. And it's just going to be all kinds of ends like this now there are there is mod podge on some of this some of it's not so it could still rip but i'm fine with that 
So I just put that on there and I will be putting some more on the cover. And then on the inside, just I put some um, fabric scrap that I had just to reinforce the spine and then the pretty papers that we did. I just put that over. So that was that. And then um, I just decided what size I wanted the paper to be. So it's kind of like a five by five. And then I just took some rest of the papers and just ripped them up so they would fit in here. And then I decided, you know what? I also like that they're not right the right size. Cause I didn't, um, at first I didn't, I just guessed and I ripped them cause I was gonna cut them down to the right size then. But then I'm like, you know, I kind of like that really messy look. So we've got these papers. Now what I did was in all the folds, I went ahead and reinforced it because this is really thin, super thin. So where I'm going to be sewing it, I went ahead and just put some scrap papers in there. And then I did go around. I remembered to ink this time. So I am unclear and I'm only doing this one signature since it's so small and I'm unclear what this is going to be. I don't know if this is going to be a journal, an art book, a glue book, uh, whatever I want it to be book, but it's going to be messy. There's going to be strings. Um, I just want it really grungy and messy and so imperfect, which we do here anyways at Crappy Crafting, but this is going to be a super crafty crapper whatever this is going to be. So I just wanted to show you that and uh, we may work in this. Uh, I may actually do the sewing on camera and show you, but that's a later thing. I just wanted to show you that I am starting on that just to have had something different. Now let's get back to, it's getting so um, thick. Oops, I got an extra book. It's so thick. I don't even know how thick it is. Um, our never-ending journal. So I just did a scrap piece of um, material. And I just, you know, I like it all grungy. Well, I didn't dye it or anything. I just kind of squished it up and made it all wrinkly and stuff. So that is going to be the tie for the cover. Now let's go to the back signature. And let's find a page, because what I want to do, let's get rid of some of these scraps. Let's just put scraps all over the page. Let's just make it that, and then we'll decide if we want to add a pocket or what we'll do. So let's just start grabbing some of this junk off of here, and let's... Let's just scrap this up. Let's, let's, let me go over here and grab some of this and grab some of this. And there's more over here. There's some of this. We're just going to collage. We're going to do a collage page. Now, let me go down. Okay. So let me get that centered. Um, we're probably going to use just white glue. I'm running low on it, so I hope I don't run out, but um, these are just scraps from some of my projects, so let's just get these. Oh, dear. My glue may have glued itself shut. Okay, so let's just take like this, and we'll just... Whoops. We'll just glue this. Come on, flip over. We'll just glue that right there. So this is a great way just to use scraps up. This is from a picture I cut out. So let's just rip this. We'll rip this. And let's just rip that off too. Okay. And then we'll just rip 
we're just going to make a mess. This is the funnest way to do stuff. I love just not knowing what I'm doing and just haphazardly putting stuff down. It may not be pretty, and it may turn out to be the best thing I've ever done. Do we care? Mm, not particularly. Let's do this. So this is one of those real fragile book pages that just is falling apart. And this is going to take up pretty much the page. So, you know what? Let's do it over here. Let's do this back of this page while we're at it. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get back to that. <laughs> I'm thinking on that. I want to glue some more. Let's glue some more of this. Let's just rip this in half and figure out which side we like. Oh, I let it set the wrong way. All right, come on. I have to buy some more white glue. And we'll just stick you right there. That looks like where you want to live. I kind of like that right there, how that ended up there. See, happy accidents. Bob Ross had it right all along. We like our happy accidents. So let's just... And as you can see, I'm not being very picky about my glue. Beautiful. Gloriousness. We are definitely going to get inky today, or gluey today. Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's, let's do a piece of fabric. Some good old Halloween stuff. Uh, let's actually, let's do this. Let's just do the happy pumpkin. Do the happy pumpkin. Mm, I probably need to use my Furby tack for that. I not tried white glue with the fabric, so I'm unclear. Oh, I need my light better. Come on, light. Thank you. I got to get a real light to bring over here. So we can see what we're doing when we're doing this stuff. Let's put you like that. There we go. And I will glue this down here. Just because. Okay, so there's that. Put my thing back on. Okay. Upside down you go. Let's see what else we got. What little scraps do we have? I'm even going to bring in something that's just totally off the cuff. Just not even. We're going to have every holiday, <laughs> every piece of scrap we can find. I mean, we. this is truly just going to be a collage of nonsense. A collage of nonsense. That's what we do here at Crappy Crafting. This is fun. I like this. And it also gets your scraps off your table. And that's what I'm working for. I'm working for that. Since I evidently don't clean... Let's put that right there. Now my fingers are all gluey and I'm picking up all the little come on one. Nothing works when you want it to. Okay, so let's just put this right here like that. How 
pretty. Isn't this just a gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous page? It's so beautiful. That needs to go right there. I heard it. It told me it needed to go right there. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put it like that. Perfect. And perfectly perfect. Okay. Um, what else we got? Come on. We got more than that. I know we do. Let's see. Just reaching for scraps around. I want something a little bit different. That looks like it needs to go down there. I'm going to try the white glue on the fabric. Mm, and clear how this will work. I've, I don't think I've tried just gluing fabric with the white glue. I don't know if it'll hold, if it'll work, or what will happen, but we're about to find out. That's the way you find things out, is by trying it. Boom. Okay, there's that. Now I really need to clean this off. I need a piece of, boom. Okay, um, let's see, what else we got? We do have a piece of just scrap paper. I'm unclear what that was about. But I want that, and I want that, and we're going to put that right there. And let's stick that right there. And then, I think, just for funsies, um, I am going to do a little stamp on there. I'm going to get my black. We'll do it in black so it really shows up. We're going to do so nice. Because we know this page is so nice. It is so nice. And let's do it cockeye. And a little, <laughs> a little dragon on there. It's a little, mm, but whatever. That works for me. Okay. So, does this page look done? Um... You know what I think I want to do? I have all this leftover craft paper from ripping those pages. And I think I want to make a, um, like a paper stack, just like that. We want on that side, or do we want it like a reveal? No, I don't really want to cover that up. I am going to make a paper stack at some point in time, but we'll save that for a later project. I just want to do this. Um, what is next? I got some of these dark purple things here. Let's throw a few of these on there. Just where I've ripped the sides off so they didn't have a um, straight edge. And we'll just use the straight edges here. 
Boom. Nice. And we'll do this other one here. I just feel like being quick and messy today. Of course, the video is not going to be quick, but doing this is quick. So there's that. I need something special in the middle. Ooh, since we're still dealing with Halloween, let's just do this. Probably shouldn't be putting Halloween in here considering this is more of a floral theme but hey so I am gonna let go of that <laughs> I'll let go of that thought and those are kind of the same color let's put I know what I have this old pattern paper no see how I changed my mind I never know what the heck I'm gonna do let's just put a strip down the middle covering things up and this can be a writing space how about that Maybe we'll stamp on it. Let's just rip that there. And we'll just put glue all over this. And I am probably going to call this done. Not every page has to be beautiful. Not every page has to have a purpose. Sometimes we're going to call this our cleanup page. This is just our cleanup page of the desk. Oh, no, come on. So we're going to set that right there. Just smooth that down. And what stamp would we like to do on it? Uh, whoa, sorry, didn't mean to, whoa. Um, hmm. Let's just do, let's do a B. I just feel like a line of Bs would be good. I'm for sure if this will fit completely on there, but hey, here we go. So let's have a bee going this way. Cute. Let's have a bee going this way. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Never mind. We don't need to write on it. We want to look at the happy bees is what we want to do. Cool. I like it. Just spontaneously putting things on there. Okay. So one other thing I do want to do. I do. I do. Let's just take what's on the other side of this. Nothing. So let's take our fabric tap and let's make a um, a tag, uh, a, a tab, a tab, a tag, a tab, a tab, a tab, a tag. So I'm actually going to put it on here because I want to glue the whole thing shut so it'll be more stiff. So um, hopefully you can see this. Just putting the glue on the fabric itself. And we 
making sure to especially get those ends where I'm going to be attaching it to the paper and then that will close. So what I'm going to do is just put that there and then put that there and then fold that shut. Oh, you didn't even see that at all, did you? Mm, sorry. So I just put the glue here and then folded it over there. Now I've folded it. So that way it gets to be a little stronger. But we do have a little, a nice little tab there. So there we go. There is a nice collage. Now we could put a pocket in there later if we decide. Um, I'm just going through and doing these things really quickly. And probably when it gets toward the end of this, I'll go back and we'll probably um, decorate more of the page and add more things to them. These are just some ideas to get down and to do really quick. But there's a nice little collage page just cleaning up. Didn't clean up enough, that's for sure. As I'm dropping all my stuff everywhere. So I will have to eventually clean this up. But there's a way to use up some of your scraps. Just throw them on a page. Um, and you could do more. You could add even more. But like I said, just for time's sake, there's our little page. I, I like it. Even the tab is crooked. I mean, that's the way. This is an imperfect, and that's the way I like it. So thanks for joining me today. Hopefully I'll give you some ideas or at least some fun today. So don't forget those thumbs ups and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't because you never know what I'm going to be doing. So I will see y'all later. Have a good day.